Buenos dias. My name is Maria Isabel Perez Hedges, and I'm here on behalf of the Puerto Ricans in Minnesota Committee, PRIM, a collective that organizes and educates legislators locally and nationally regarding the political status of Puerto Rico. As a Puerto Rican born on the Dakota and Anishinaabe land of Minnesota, I stand in solidarity with global tribal movements for sovereignty and in support of the decolonization of Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans on the island and here in the U.S. have been lied to, blindfolded from the truth of history. History. We have been fed a paternalistic narrative that Puerto Rico cannot survive independently without the hand holding of an imperial power. This narrative, developed through the Jones Act, includes the notion that politicians in Washington, D.C. and their puppets on the island are more equipped to lead than the people of Puerto Rico themselves. Yet, a cycle of horrific tragedies and traumatic policies have proven that the decision on Puerto Rico's status cannot be left to anyone other than the Puerto Rican people. The Puerto Rican people are the ones who continue to endure and persevere through a failed American experiment as part of the 528 years of colonization on the island of Borinquen. We must empower, support, and trust the Puerto Rican people in Puerto Rico to lead the island of our ancestors towards a just and independent future. We are demanding that Puerto Rico no longer be the war booty for a colonial regime that has a past of sterilizing our women and experimenting on our bodies, a colonial regime that has a long history of destroying our island's environment, a colonial regime that has abandoned the people of Puerto Rico by breaking a centuries of promesas from the Jones Act of 1917 to the military military testing in Vieques to the failure to provide the most basic fundamental emergency aid and resources as a human right throughout an environmental and humanitarian crisis. I quote the great Boricua Eugenio Maria Hostos who stated, how sad and overwhelming and shameful it is to see Puerto Rico go from owner to owner without ever having been her own and to see her pass from sovereignty to sovereignty without ever ruling herself. I am second generation Boricua born to, in the US who carries the orgullo of my grandparents' devotion and dedication to their bandera. I am a daughter of New Yorkans who are drafted to war and march with the young lords to demand human rights. And I am an ally for my familia, mentors, and friends still on the island who have been organizing for peaceful transformative change for the next generations of the Puerto Rican people. I stand here to voice our stories, histories, and dreams. Mi nombre es María Isabel Pérez Hedge, que, beba, que viva Puerto Rico libre como un encanto para su nación, para la justicia en memoria de nuestros ancestros y por la luz del futuro para la juventud boricua. Gracias. I thank 